The party cleared the unhappy place by the second week of April and made its way towards Bogdo Olo, a mountainous spur. They reached Urumqi on April 11, where Rarik met Xinjiang's governor Yang Sangxin, and his foreign minister Fan Yao Han. While being courteously received, the Rorik's quarters were ransacked by the secret police. Rarik protested, but no reparation was made. He was no longer interested in the Chinese and now entrusted his fate to the Soviet Consul General Alexander Bistrov, whom he had been expecting for weeks. Rarik and Bistrov had several conversations about the evolution of humanity and the movement of nations, with Rarik explaining the great plan candidly. Nicholas had been given letters from Moria and Kut Humi to deliver to comrades Chicharin and Stalin, stating that their mission was to unite Buddhism with communism, and they had to turn to the USSR and then to Mongolia. Military officers reported that Rarik was calling himself an American and purporting to have some relationship with the Buddhist world, attempting to unite all Mongols from Lake Baikal to Khotan and Tibet. The Soviets authorized Bistrov to supply the Rariks with visas and arrange their passage to Moscow. There were arguments about citizenship, and rumors persist that the Rariks applied for Soviet citizenship but were denied.